Well, hello everybody. Uh, I'm here with uh, Crank. This is just a micro close-up, so don't go looking for like a full close-up. Um, but I hope you can hear me. Uh, we just got Crank back from the vet. Now she went for her big surgery, if you didn't know. Um, her colonectomy, I think is what they would call it. They, they basically took out her entire colon. Also, while they were in there, they gave her a spay. Um, and she just got home. You can see she's super hungry. She should be wearing her cone. I just took it off for a minute. Uh, she also got herself covered in leaky poop on the way home, and I had to give her just a tiny bit of a wash. I was very careful not to get any near her incision, um, mostly just her tail and her legs. So uh, that's why she's a little wet looking back there. Oh, hi, Teaspoon. I didn't know you were right here. How about that? Uh, so, uh, Crank did just great with her surgery. Um, uh, apparently, she, she never, they even might have take, kept her for another day and they didn't have to do that because uh, they thought she was recovering so well. So, it's all good news, um, but it's going to be a little while before. I mean, I just, we just got home, so it's going to be a while before I even know what's going on with her, much less before we know whether the surgery, you know, really fixed all of her issues or not. But I'm excited and positive about it. I think things are going to be pretty good. Only one way to find out, I suppose. So that's about it. Uh, I just thought you guys might want to see her now that we're back. Um, also, I'm happy to report that um, uh, we had to make like a, you know, a prepayment on her vet, and uh, we paid like 75% up front, I think it is. You know how it is. If you've ever been to, you know, like an emergency vet, that's how they mostly do it. Um, and uh, we actually got money back uh, afterwards, so it came in a lot cheaper than they expected, even lower than the low estimate, which is nice. It's a nice feeling. I think they tend to overestimate there because that's how it usually goes for us, but... Um, it's nice, that, you know, that's a good thing. <laughs> she is going to clean that place. She was so excited for food. Teaspoon, I just, I just cleaned out that litter box and set that all up for her, and Teaspoon's going to get in there first. Brand new, clean litter box just for this little girl. Good job, buddy. Hi, okay, well she looks like she's doing pretty well. Can we take a look at your incision together, kiddo? Can we want everybody want to see that or not? If you don't want to see it, you better tune out because I'm going to show you. Okay, let's take a quick look. Hi, let's just take a look and see what you look like down here. Oh, wow, you're all set up to be Krankenstein for, the, uh, for Halloween, aren't you? You got the staples and everything. All right, well, I'm going to go get her a uh, nice bed to add to her little box. And don't throw litter everywhere, buddy. I'll clean that up for you, okay? Good job. I'm going to get her a little bed to put in there, fill up this water dish and put it in there, and then she's going to live in her box until I figure out what her poop situation is like, or mostly live in it anyway. So I better get to it. She loves this little marshmallow bed. I think I talked about it uh, recently in like a mailbag or something. It's from the Rocket Pod. That, I think it's from the Rocket Pod. But it's just, it's like a pad. It's not even like a full marshmallow bed. And she just needs on it and loves it. She doesn't get to have it that often though because she immediately covers it in poop. Which I don't think it's going to change. I, oh, she's purring. Can you hear that? Oh, of course she stopped. Um, I, I, I got I to wipe. I'm ready to wipe her right now because I saw that she's already got some poop on her butt, but I wanted you guys to see her purring and kneading before I did. I know if I wipe her, she's going to just stop all that right away. It's 
a very quiet purr. She's already got poop on it. Oh, well, that was inevitable. Okay, I'm gonna have to put their cone back on her too. All right, one last little close up here because I thought some of you might like to see how ridiculous she is in her cone. It is pretty funny. I was looking through our collection of cones. We've got a couple others that we might try on her if she needs to keep wearing them, but I think this is actually the best one right now. That's a nice satellite dish you got there, kid. How many channels do you pick up on that thing? Yeah, okay. Hi. Okay, I just wanted you to say hi to us. Take a nap. <laughs>